After 23 years of storytelling, the Sia van der Laan community of actors and its entire crew will be saying goodbye to the Mzanzi audiences. The long-running SABC television soapy, which made its debut on SABC2 in April 2000, will not be recommissioned for another season. So after 24 seasons of a TV series that focused on the lives of residents in and around the community of Sieven de Laan in the suburb of Hillside, Sieven de Laan will be airing its final episode on the 26th of December. I mean, the show brought to life much loved characters such as Obas, Hilda, Charmaine, Aggie, Emma, the Mankeys family, who all became household names. And in studio with us, we are joined by two of the actress, uh, actors, I beg your pardon, Ingrid Paulus, who plays Vanessa Mankies, and Zach Hendricks, who portrays Werner Fusaki. They're both with us, as well as SABC General Manager of Video Entertainment Platforms, David Makubanye. Good to have all of you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for, for being with us. <laughs> it's not a nice interview. It's not an no. interview that I, I want to be doing, to be honest with you, no. because, no. you know, to be talking about something which has really hurt South Africans about coming mm. to an end is not going to be easy. So I come to you first, because, <laughs> David, I know that you've been thrown into this chair to answer questions. Yes. And, and I want to ask the question that all of South Africa are asking, why? Why are yes. you ending Seven Delan? Yes, I mean, it's, it, it is an end, um, and it's a good end, because I think Sieven de Laan um, sits in the hearts of South Africans uh, quite positively. But the reality is, I think, for the past 23 years, um, Sieven de Laan has run its race. Um, you know, for the past four years, I think um, we've tried to, you would have noticed it moved slots on the channel, SABC2, We've tried seven o'clock, we, we, uh, half past six, six o'clock. And with the changing you know, media landscape, with the introduction of the digital platforms and so on, we, we're living in quite a competitive environment. And what it does is we then have to review some of the content that we have and, and, and look at our state as the SABC mm -hmm. and ensure that whatever it is that we put has a positive response. And the reality is South Africans have not been, on top of the issue around uh, not paying TV licenses, but South Africans haven't been coming to watch um, for the past about four years. And, and understandably so, there've been other channels, there's been other, other content that has come on and audiences are fragmented. We have looked at editorial interventions, storyline interventions, and I do think that Seven de Laan has really, really played a very pivotal role in, you know, uniting South Africa, in challenging stereotypes in society, in really building social cohesion in society. And, and now we've come to a point where we are realizing that we need South Africans to come back to our screens um, around prime time on, on SABC2. So we, after evaluating something that we do when, you know, every quarter, Every, and every year, we look at our programs, we review them, we look at how they're performing, and then we make a decision. Mm -hmm. And I, I must say, we have really, as I said, for the past four years, tried to look at how do we keep yeah. the soap in every South African uh, so lounges. Let's look at numbers, because I mean, yeah. that's, that sort of tells us the story. Uh, before I read the numbers I've got in front of me yeah. about viewers and viewership, what numbers do you have? What have you been looking so, at and sort of analyzing? So currently we have kind of dropped uh, currently to our 9.5 average mm. share. So for an ordinary South African, what does that translate to? It's plus minus 800,000 viewers per night on yeah. average. Yeah. So, you know, for a soap that is this big on a public broadcaster, if you look at the investment that we put into that soap, for you to realize the return on investment, you need at least around 2 million viewers um, for you to be able to sustain the soap. Yeah. So, so, it's still a, so that's the challenge. That's still a good viewership. I mean, it's still, I mean, looking at, at some of the, the figures that are out here, it's, a, it's an article that I'm reading off of, um, I think it's business, uh, let me quickly get there. I'm not sure if it's business report, business, I'm not sure what it's business, I'll have a look. Uh, my broadband, I beg your pardon. So they're saying that for June, just in June alone, uh, Seven Delan got a viewership of close to 1.2 million viewers. 
Now, I know and you know this high-budget Shaka Lembe, that drew up to 929,000 viewers. So I'm trying to find the rationale in dumping something like Sievendalan that actually is still getting viewership in favor of what are you replacing it with? Yes. So the plan really is, and we will communicate the, the replacement, um, the plan is to replace it with a, a similar product moving uh, forward. However, of course, we will look at um, you know, the cost per minute to that product. And we will also look at a product that will be able to reach out to a much bigger audience, mass audience. Now, when you compare uh, audiences, right, uh, on a subscription platform, because the, the Shaka Ilembe is sitting on a pay TV platform, Remember that... Uh, but it's still one of the biggest programs, yeah. and yet Seven Delan's still beating it. Yes. I, I'm sorry that I'm being hard on you, but I'm taking mandate from the viewers who are yes. angry about this. Will you replace it with something Afrikaans? Is Afrikaans the problem? So, um, yes, to a certain extent, because what you need yeah. is you need to be able to open it up. So Afrikaans is not a problem in the sense that it's you will see that Seven Delan, a few years back when it was performing, it was still Afrikaans. And if you look at the demographic of audiences, it goes across. So audiences don't always come in just for language. They come in for story as well. So if you've got a good story, even if you've got Afrikaans, right, as much as Afrikaans as a representation may be seen to be niche, with a good story, people will come in. Mm. And Sivan Delan in the past has proven it. Yeah. All we are trying to do is bring back those audiences with good story. Yeah. All right. I That's wanna, all. I want to bring our, our guests in studio. You guys are listening to this conversation, I know. <laughs> and, 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 and you are the ones that really are at the brunt end of all of this because uh, you're basically losing your jobs. I mean, this has become your lives. And a lot of South Africans, you're also their lives because you become the daily feature. You become... They, they almost feel like you family, yes. and that's, and that's yes. the, the, the whole long and short of it and the hard truth of all of it. So I just want to ask you, Ingrid, when, when did you hear the news and what was it like to hear this? It was about a week ago. Last week, oh, last Monday. week Monday. So you heard when we heard? Yes. We yes. heard two hours before, before the public. Before public. public. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, so it was, I mean, I'm looking back at, at some of the uh, episode, past episodes and the faces and... I think it's hitting me now. Yeah. I mean, it is, it is very hard because I, I mean, mm -hmm. I get a lump in my throat thinking about it because yeah. this has become your life. And what the reasons you're hearing from, from the SABC for cancelling this, do you, uh, for, for you, um, um, uh, um, uh, Zach, does this, does this make sense to you? Do, you? do you feel that from the public? Do you, do you see that? Do you think Sierra Delan has lost touch with reality or are people not watching? I Look, the, the, uh, to look at the AR ratings, um, you, you cannot deny what the ARs are saying, yeah. right? But at the end of the day, yes, maybe we hit 800,000 on certain episodes, and sometimes we hit 1.2. At the end of the day, it's really difficult at the moment with load shedding to keep the numbers at a certain level. You are competing with other production companies that is also being affected by load shedding. But one thing that I do know about Seven and Lawn, out of all the production companies that is running on the SAPC, even with load shedding, it is one of the only or the few productions that has sustained the numbers where the average has been quite high. So our average hasn't dropped as much as other shows during load shedding. Yeah. So the thing is that our Seven Lawn viewers are incredibly committed. Mm. Dedicated. We have never seen so many dedicated Everything fans dedicated. because they have gone on this journey for 23 years mm. and they have become, we, the characters have become part of the family because we're in their lounges every, every single, single day. day. Yeah. So for them, to hear that the show got cancelled the same time as we did, it is a massive shock mm -hmm. for every South African that has gone through this journey. It's like breaking up with your family member yes. and you're never going to see them again. I know, it's so it's, hard. I, I, it's a bit of a Ingrid. death for me. Because yeah. I've been there since the very first episode. Since the beginning. And I've grown with the viewers and some of the viewers have grown with my character. Mm. Um, but our fans, I cannot say enough how thankful i am for them yeah, yeah. for keeping us there for so many years yeah. it's really thank you 
Yeah. Big shout out to uh, our and, fans. And what we do and you is mm. for the fan. You know, mm. it is for the people that are watching, that commit, that tune in yes. every single night, yes. no matter what. Yes. So I, I want to go back, I know it's hard to speak about, but <laughs> I want to go back to that moment. Maybe Zach, you better at telling the story <laughs> of what happened last week when the news was broken to you guys. What, what happened on the set? Perhaps you can give us a, a, a glimpse into the um, reaction. <laughs> okay. You're, you're no, a no, no, it's, yeah, uh, we, I think mm. we sort of expected it. Mm. Okay. Uh, some of us, and I'm sure for some of the people, it really was a shock, because we, at at that production, you know, some people say we're family. We we really are. Every single Every person, single from person. the actors to the crew to the people in administration, it's like, I have never been this happy, being at a production company, yeah. like. Yeah. It's so lacquer to wake up in the morning and yeah. go to work. And it really feels so sad to know that I'm not there. It's for Where the people. Yeah. 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 We we've made a lifelong connection there. Yeah. And um I honestly still feel we have so many we still have stories to tell. You have so many stories to tell. Yeah. David <sighs> I know that you, you sort of are the guy that's been sent in to do this interview. <laughs> and I know it's not easy because yeah. you're not the one who's really in charge of, of content in terms of, you know, what gets registered, what gets taken away and what doesn't. But, you know, is the people have spoken. Surely, as a channel, you've seen the outcry from people that are saying, please don't take this away. Why are you taking it away? Have, have you seen the reaction from South Africans? We have, we have seen the reaction from South Africans. Um, we, and you're quite right. I think it's very important to take note that when such a decision is made, it's not an individual decision. And as I've said, it's a decision that has been made having monitored uh, Sevenda Lan for a couple of years. It's not a decision that was made abruptly. You would have realized that a few years back, we actually had reduced Sevenda Lan to three days. And then brought it back to, to five. Yeah, and and when the audience, you know, and audiences reacted. Yes. And and we then responded to that, and, and we brought, brought it back, it back to five. To five. Days. Now you've responded and in then, taking it off air. But the you see that was us looking and giving it more time, and what we were saying is let us look at the stories, let us look at giving it a, a, an opportunity and a chance. Um, but when you look at, as I've said, the competitive landscape. And when you look at the challenges that we have, I think one of, the, one of those being, uh, for example, the load shedding. We are now facing analog switch off. Mm. So the analog switch off that has been happening, which continues now, the target is that uh, the final switch off will be the end of next year. Uh, all those are, you know, shedding audiences. And as we lose audiences, that has a direct link to our revenue. And, and, and that, unfortunately, is where we sit. And it is a pity because the reality is, as a public broadcaster, we shouldn't be placed in a situation where we need to choose between delivering on our public mandate and making sure that we represent South Africans in whatever way we want and also in the diversity. And on the other side, having to survive and make sure that we generate the revenue as a commercial entity and compete with other commercial entities. Yeah. Now we sit with that difficulty where yeah. at the end of the day, we need to make hard decisions, you know, for the sake of the SABC at large, yeah. where we need to make sure that the SABC stays afloat. And that's where we are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, I, I, I would love to dig more in. I know SK is also coming in here, but, you know, many, many people are saying uh, this is the most loved and watched program, uh, especially when it comes to Afrikaans, um, preserving this language. SK, I know you're passionate. I, and I am. Very passionate. And, about this. you know, I was reading some of the tweets and people saying, um, you know, uh, one person says, wow, this is painful. My childhood is officially over. Um, and others talking about how they would have never passed Afrikaans had it not mm. been yes, for Sivan yes, yes, yes. uh, You know, yeah. and, and uh, many people are weighing in on this. Um, but I think in the end, and, and, and you know, we, we, we've seen the outpouring of emotion because this is about more than just numbers. This is about mm. human beings and, you yeah. know, how it affects them. 
in the end. Yeah. So and certainly, I think the question, and, and I'm looking at our time, we've got to go. <laughs> why, why tell the crew two hours before? Yeah. Why? So uh, the plan was, as you know, uh, Seven Alan ends uh, in December. So there was a plan to communicate well in time. And then um, what happened? We, we should uh, communicate uh, about three months before. But what happened is uh, then the story leaked and we thought we need to make sure that we then get to the, the you know, to the crew and talk to them. Uh, and that's what happened because we thought, let us rather make the rush, make sure we communicate with cast and crew instead of them now hearing things and getting it on social media and so on. So mm. that was the idea. But 23 but, years of Ingrid's yeah. life. Couldn't we have gone in earlier and said, guys, we have a problem. Things are not looking good. This yeah. is going to happen. Yeah. And, you know, I say that because this is a fate that could befall any one any of us one at of any us, given yeah. time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just coming from that perspective. Yeah, yeah you know, Sakina, so as I said, we, the interventions with Seven Delan have been for years. We've been engaging actually for a couple of years where we've been saying that, uh, you know, we're not, how do we come in? Mm. How do we improve? You know, as I've said, that's why we've moved it on the schedule. There will be storyline integration. Yeah. There will be introduction of characters and so on. Okay. So we, this we communication gotta go. yeah. has been on. It would be we great to see the post-mortem of that. We want to, yeah, yeah we, will, we will speak more. And we want to bring the cast in. Yeah. We've yes. got to bring you back. And not yes. when it's so fresh. Yes. When <laughs> we've done, done season 24, it's over. You've had time to digest this and look to the future because yeah. this is yeah. a. Yeah, a we're tough still time. processing. Oh, oh, yeah, we, we all are for you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for coming. Thank in you for cool. having thank us. You. <laughs> but thank you for showing us the real side of of how hard this actually is. So, and David, thank you. Thanks for answering the questions. Sure. In the hot seat.